In the previous video I created this push function which is used to insert elements into the stack and in this video I, cre I will create or define this pop function which will be used to delete elements of the stack. This function pop is of type int so this function should return an integer value. Now before trying to delete an element from the stack we must check if the stack is full or not because if the stack is full then we won't be able to delete anything from the stack because in that case the stack will not have any values which we can delete so we have to check if the stack is empty or not and with this if statement we can do that if top equal to equal to minus one now it's very easy to check if the stack is empty or not because when the stack is empty the value of top is equal to minus 1 so this if statement will check is the value of top equal to minus 1 and if it is then this printf statement will be executed stack is empty will be displayed on the screen and this return statement will terminate this function and we will move out of this pop function here I have just declared a variable name element of type int stack top means top of the stack in a stack elements are always deleted from the top so in this stack if I try to delete an element then this 8 will get deleted because this 8 is at the top of the stack the value of top is 3 and the value in the stack at this position is 8 so this 8 in this case will be assigned to this element so the value of this element will become 8 in this case so in general this variable element will always contain the element to be deleted from the stack because in a stack elements are always deleted from the top and this stack top means top of the stack now this code is responsible for deleting an element from the stack now when an element is deleted from the stack the value of top is decremented by 1 top equals to top minus 1 and an element is always deleted from the top in a stack so if we delete an element this 15 will get deleted now the value of top at this point is 4 so 4 minus 1 equals to 3 so top becomes equal to 3 this element get, gets deleted now if we if we again want to delete another element from the stack then again the value of top will be decremented by 1 and the value of top at this point is 3 so 3 minus 1 equals 2 top becomes 2 and this element gets deleted now again if we want to delete another element from the stack then again the value of top will be decremented by 1 the value of top is 2 2 minus 1 equals to 1 top becomes equal to 1 this element gets deleted so this is how an element is deleted from the stack
here I am just printing the element that has been deleted from the stack the variable element contains the element to be deleted from the stack and this code actually deletes that element Here I am just returning the element that has been deleted from the stack. This pop function is of type int and this function should return some value. This is the end of the pop function. Now let's see how this function will be executed. Now here 2 means pop. So if the user enters 2 as a choice then this case 2 will be executed this fo this pop function will be called and the control will be transferred here now this if statement will check is the stack empty or not is the value of top equal to minus 1 if it is then this printf statement will be executed stack is empty will be printed on the screen because of this return statement the function will be terminated we will come out of this pop function and if the stack if the stack is not empty if this condition becomes false then these statements will be executed the variable element will be assigned the value to be deleted from the stack will which will be at the top of the stack top will be decremented by 1 because when an element is deleted from the stack the value of top is decremented by 1 this print statement will just print the element that has been deleted from the stack and finally we will return the deleted element I have just created this pop function to delete elements from the stack and in the next video I'll create this display function to display elements of the stack.